Welcome to PixInsight Core, version 1.7. Though workspace is a warm and fuzzier term than user interface, let's use UI for now, because in Pixie speak, workspace means something else. Like Mac's multiple desktop environment, PI offers separate workspaces, which we'll see in a moment. And not unlike Windows or OS X, PixInsight feels more like an operating system than a program. Like an OS, PI is a host framework for individual processes which are added or improved at a rapid rate. These include ones written directly by the P-Team and some authored by third-party members of the community. Speaking of community, the PI Forum is just a click away. We encourage you to get involved with this active and enthusiastic group of users. Answers to your questions often come directly from the P-Team within a day or so. Frequently upon opening PixInsight, you're greeted with a Christmas present. Told you new modules are being added all the time. As Photoshop's look has become more and more utilitarian, PixInsights has gained pizzazz and looks and feels beautiful. If you're a recovering layerholic, keep an open mind. As with most software, there are drop-down menus, toolbars, and with PI, two more things, explorer windows, and something we really love, new instance icons, which we'll see later. And trust me, for obsessive compulsives like myself, we could spend a lifetime customizing this UI. In global preferences, you can change fonts, colors, you name it. Stay out of here if you want to get any work done. This desktop is set to my current preferences, but you're free to customize it to yours. If you take the time to tune the UI, you'll find you can avoid all drop-down menus. But let's take a quick look at them. Most of file consists of standard conventions, open close, save and print, but two things are worth noting. It's here you can summon the fits header. Also note load and save project. When you save a project you can reload it later. The elements you choose here, any previews, processes, or text will be recalled with the image. Note too that more than one workspace can be included. This would be a great time to cover those. You can enter any of the default four directly, or you can drag items to them. Note the all-important ID tab of an image window, and this new instance arrow of a process window. Grab hold of either with a left click of your mouse and drag it to the workspace selector and the workspace of your choice. You can now use multiple workspaces to keep images and processes independent of one another. You can also create additional ones, as we'll see. PixInsight offers an absurd amount of redundant features for your convenience. Right-clicking at the top of either window also offers the ability to send them to other workspaces. Here are other options, such as Minimize, Maximize, and Zoom and Fit, which will let you experiment with yourself. The easiest way to zoom is by placing the cursor in the image window and using the mouse's scroll wheel. When an image is maximized, its zoom is restricted to where you've dragged the thin blue line, which gives you a nice little working area. Left click in the image for the cursor's XY coordinates and RGB brightness values in readout mode. Right click for a lengthy context menu. Probably most useful here are instant access to mask control and undo redo. Next up, 
is the edit menu. In addition to global preferences are the readout and color management setup. Here's my default monitor profile and I think other defaults are fine. Your chosen profile can be embedded in an RGB image. I elected to use the wider gamut ARGB as mine. Using ARGB gives me a wider color gamut for archiving and for additional tweaking than does the web-friendly sRGB. Next is View. As if there isn't enough zoom control, here's more. But very important here is the ability to edit scripts and to open Explorer windows and toolbars. The script editor opens as a window and you guys have at it. While I helped create Celestron's AstroFX software, I'm not a programmer, but Rogelio is. You can write or edit scripts via the PixInsight JavaScript runtime or in C++ via the PixInsight class library. Toolbars are simply toggled on and off, while windows, once opened, are closed via the window itself. The image menu consists of a host of options. The all-important Undo Redo is here, also available via a keyboard shortcut. Here and again in the context menu. I'll let you review the rest as we'll see them again. We'll continue with the UI in the next tutorial.